Hello, my name is Sandra Anglin. In this section of the DVD, we will try to cover the most common questions about sickle cell disease and the free testing that's available within the National Health Service or NHS. We will do this by following a pregnant woman and her husband through the screening process. In other parts of the DVD, people actually have sickle cell disease or have a family member with sickle cell disease will talk about what it means to them. In this first clip, we meet Cynthia, the counsellor, and Kemi. Kemi is eight weeks pregnant and is being offered screening for sickle cell as part of her routine antenatal care. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you. Um, the purpose of today's um, appointment is to just go through with you some of the blood tests that you're going to need uh, to think about having during the pregnancy. Um, how many weeks pregnant are you now? Uh, eight weeks perfect time in uh, for some of the blood tests that you need to have done because okay. uh, that will give us enough time to get the results back and you know and to um, if you have need any follow-up then that will be ideal timing really um, could you just tell me where your parents your grandparents your great 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 <laughs> grandparents are from um, Nigerian descent okay all right one of the blood tests that we'll offer you today is for sickle cell and um, sickle cell disease is a condition that affects the red blood cells uh, and obviously affects the way the oxygen is carried around the body as well. Um, it's a condition that's inherited um, and an individual needs to have inherited the gene to make sickle red blood cells from both parents um, before they could actually have the condition themselves. Mm -hmm. So we start the whole process really by testing you um, and then if you come back with your result as being a, a carrier then um, we also offer the baby's father a blood test. Okay. Um, have you had an opportunity to actually um, read um, the leaflet? Um, I did receive it and I read it briefly but I really need to go through it again really. Okay. Um, this does give um, quite a lot of detailed information about um, having the blood test done and what kind of the outcomes are. But basically, if, if the test is p result shows that you are a carrier um, for sickle cell, then we would um, we'd all, we'd call you back in and give you a bit more information and also offer uh, the baby's father testing. Okay. So are you happy to go ahead with that? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm happy to do that, yes. Okay. Um, well, I'll just complete the forms and, you know, and, um, send you off to actually have that done along with some other blood tests as well. Okay. All right. Thanks very much. Kemi agrees to have a screening blood test for sickle cell and the results show that she is a carrier. The counsellor, Cynthia, then explains that it's important that the baby's father also has a screening blood test for sickle cell. He agrees and the results also show that he is a carrier. In the next scene, Cynthia, the counsellor, will meet Kemi and her husband, Fella, to explain what the results mean and the options they have open to them. In real life, this counselling session will probably last an hour or more and give Kemi and Fella all the information they require to make the right choices for them. Here we have focused on just a few key questions. Good morning. Good morning. morning. My name's Cynthia, um, and you've been invited in today to uh, discuss the blood test result. We received Kemi's result, which showed that she was a sickle cell carrier. Um, and we also have your result, which says that you are also a carrier. And that although that is not significant for your own health, because you are healthy and you don't have a condition that requires treatment, it is significant for the baby. Uh, so the idea is just to explain the situation to you and explain also the options um, for the, you as a couple? I'm not sure about the term carrier because I'm not sick and no one in my family's had the illness before, so I'm not sure what, what does it mean for me. When we say carrier, we mean that um, you don't have a condition, you have more than 50% of your red blood cells of the normal type, um, and you carry a gene um, to make an unusual type of red blood cells, okay? And everybody inherits two genes, one from each of their parents, about the type of red blood cells that they have. So you've inherited one gene to make normal red blood cells, 
one gene to make sickle. Because you're a carrier, it means that you're not ill, you're never going to be ill, um, you don't have any condition that requires treatment, and the only way that you actually know that you're a carrier is because you've had a specific blood test. So both of you are carriers. And that's what the purpose of today is, really, to explain that. And every time you make a baby together, there are four possibilities of the type of red blood cell genes that the baby could inherit. So one possibility is that the baby could inherit information to make a normal type of red blood cells. So they would inherit the gene to make hemoglobin A from both parents, yeah? So they wouldn't be a carrier or anything. Um, the other possibility is that either one of the parents could pass on the gene to make the unusual type of red blood cell, for example, sickle, and then the baby would inherit the normal haemoglobin A gene from the other parent. So there's a possibility that the child could be a carrier, and that's a 50% chance in, uh, in every pregnancy, and that's not an issue. And then there's a possibility that both parents could pass on at the same time uh, the gene to make uh, the unusual type of haemoglobin, um, in this case sickle haemoglobin, and then the child would inherit a condition that actually requires treatment um, because they would have no normal haemoglobin A. And what you need to remember is that these chances are the same for every pregnancy. So. If the baby does inherit sickle cell disease, what does that mean for the baby? The job of the red blood cells is to carry oxygen and iron around the body. Um, normal red blood cells are very flexible and can get through the, um, the blood vessel very easily. But um, what happens in sickle cell disease, when the red blood cells give up the oxygen, then they change shape and become this unusual shape, which is what gives it its name. The problem is if lots of them change shape all at the same time, then you can have a situation where the red blood cells get stuck in the tiny um, blood vessels and that means that there's no um, blood flow getting through to that part of the body and that causes pain. So one of the main features of this condition is pain. Um, and some of the other problems, particularly for children, is that they are at higher risk of infections. Um, because uh, their immune system doesn't function as well um, as it should do. In terms of options, what does that mean for us with the baby? What sort of choices can we make? Well, it is possible to um, test the baby during the pregnancy, and that is called prenatal diagnosis, and that consists of actually um, taking a sample of either the cells or the fluid from around the baby and testing that um, to see if the baby is um, it got normal red blood cells, mm -hmm. if it's a carrier, or if it's actually got the condition. Mm -hmm. Now, it's your decision whether or not you decide to have that test. By, by having the test, there is a risk of miscarriage. There's a 1% risk of miscarriage by having the test done. And that's irrespective of what the result actually is. <sighs> Would you like to have some more time to actually uh, yeah. think about that? Yeah, I think we I think we need to, really. Well, um, you're about 11 weeks of pregnancy now, 10, 11 weeks. Um, so if you would like an opportunity to think about it, it would be really great if you could get back to me within you know, a week or so and let me know what your decision is, and then I can organise for you to have that test done. Thank you. Remember, you may not know that you are a carrier and sickle cell runs in families. If you are a carrier, it is likely that other members of your family are too. Do tell them about testing, especially if they are hoping to have a baby.